Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 24th of 2019, well, it is titled A Northern Winter Sky Panorama. So what do we see here? Well, this is a panoramic image looking around the entire sky. So you can go from one edge there on the left-hand side, and it matches back up on the right-hand side. You can imagine it kind of looping together. So getting an entire 360-degree view of the sky all at once. And if we look, there's a number of things visible here. And by moving the mouse over the image, you're able to actually see uh, the different things highlighted here and noted as to what is actually visible in the sky. And we start off on the left-hand side where we can see a meteor. Now, that's one of the things that cannot be planned for in an image like this. Uh, meteors occur all the time. They tend to occur in showers uh, often, which are associated with debris left behind by things like comets or asteroids in their orbit. However, there are also just stray meteors that can occur as well, as we see in this case, and we see one meteor there off to the left-hand side. As we move a little further over, we actually see uh, the two stars in Gemini, Castor and Pollux, the two twin stars in the constellation of Gemini, or the twins. And down below them, we see the bright star Procyon, and below that, we see Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, just barely showing over the horizon in this image. Uh, those are some of the brighter stars in the winter sky, and one of the most prominent winter sky objects is a little bit to the right of Sirius, and that is Orion. Orion, one of the brighter constellations, more prominent constellations that is visible in the sky. And that is uh, noted by the three stars in the belt and the little pinkish glow right down below them of the Orion Nebula. Now, on the other side of the image, we do see the bright star Capella up above the arc of the Milky Way. The Milky Way is our spiral galaxy as we see it from inside. So all of the material there is associated with the disk of our galaxy. All of the other stars that we see are also associated with our galaxy as well. They're just the more nearby stars, uh, the relatively close ones, not the distant ones that are many tens of thousands of light years away and so far away that we just see them combined together, their combined light glowing within the galaxy. So we don't see them as individual stars, but just this milky glow from all of those different stars. As we move over towards the right-hand side, we do see Polaris. Polaris, uh, prominent because it is very close to the North Celestial Pole, or the axis of the Earth. And that means it seems to stay in the same spot in the sky as things rise and set. Polaris stays essentially in the same spot. As you can see here, it's not the brightest star in the sky. In fact, it's about the 50th brightest star in the sky. So there are many stars that are brighter, but it is more prominent just because of its location in the sky. And then we can see off to the far right, just at the edge of the image there, is the Big Dipper. Big Dipper itself is what we call an asterism. It is part of a constellation. It is a grouping of stars, but is not a constellation itself. It's actually a part of the constellation of Ursa Major, or the Large Bear. And we can actually use the Big Dipper. The two stars at the top, right under where it says Big Dipper, are known as the pointer stars, and they point in the general direction of Polaris. So Polaris doesn't always stand out. Big Dipper is one that people can often identify. So you can identify the Big Dipper and then use those two stars to kind of locate where Polaris is in the sky. So here we get to see an image of the entire sky and the entire winter sky and looking at some of the prominent stars and constellations and objects that you can see in the winter sky. So that was our picture of the day for December the 24th of 2019. It was titled A Northern Winter Sky Panorama. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. 
previewed to be Sun Ring. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.